Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths video, and this is technically a sinking ship video, but it's more a demonstration of the power of um, naval mines. So basically, what I've done, I've created a, well I say I created a mine, there's a whole field of them here, but uh, here's one uh, currently sat here, if I just flip it up the right way, this is what I've, uh, I've created, it's basically a sphere of explosives. Um, which floats in the water basically. There is an air pump inside it which uh, allows you to adjust its uh, well buoyancy height so it can go up or down and um, I've set them at the moment so that adjust on the uh, on the sea levels, well on the yeah, sea level see they're just on the surface of the sea there that's uh, the, the purpose of this was to uh, get rid of that, was to um, more just sort of a demonstration so you can see the mines, it's, ba it's a basic sort of well sphere Sort of uh, five by five square spheres, you can see. The sort of thing you see in Minecraft, basically. But this one, like I said, packed with explosives. It's hollow inside there for the uh, air pump, just so you can adjust the uh, height of its buoyancy. So that's the uh, task for today. The sole purpose is just to show you the demonstration of these things. But I was going to use a bigger ship as well, but uh, due to from the depths being a relatively unstable game, still a big ship just. Well, uh, the, the ship itself's fine, but when you try and crash it into a mine, it just lags the game like hell. So I'm just using the smallest ship that I have, um, which will sink properly. And that ship is the Californian, and it's still packed with explosives. So um, from the last video I done, so um, it's going to be explosive nonetheless. So that, like I said, the whole purpose just to show the demonstration of minefields when they're laid out fine. But uh, I've not shown you how to deploy them or anything like that. I haven't worked that out. I know there is a way of doing it properly, but I'm a bit inept with the uh, the physics, well not the physics, but the uh, program and everything of this game. So, um, well, not so much programming, is it? It's um, configuring all the components to make these things deployable. So it, they're just simple mines at the moment. So, um, yeah. Anyway, what we're going to do? We're going to start off the uh, Californian, and uh, we'll see what happens. I've got. I just managed to shoehorn an engine into this ship just to get it to get it to function so um, what we're going to do we're going to turn to port and aim roughly directly at that mine there so this ship is actually quite maneuverable it's much better maneuverable than uh, the bigger ships so we're going to aim try and get a side shot actually we'll turn a bit more this way and there should be an almighty boom oh, the game's got a lag and there we go. <laughs> Don't know why the camera changed then, but uh, there we go. There's a blast in the bow, and that oh Jesus, that has done a horrific amount of damage. So she's down in the bow already, and the damage that was done is all well, that basically has blown quite a large chunk in the, of the bow off. Yeah, so that's uh, that's that uh, shows you how powerful these mines are. Um, so if I can just drive forward, and uh, I can pretty much take on any other mine, so. Let's see what we can do. So we just fly on a bit more. Let's just fly on, sail on. So if I turn a bit more broadside to the mines, I'm trying to get a, a side impact. So let's see what happens here. Hopefully the camera won't change this time. And I think. Oh, there we go. I thought we were going to get between them, but never mind. There's another blast in the side there, so we'll stop engines again. Have another look. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, she's taking a lurch forward. So there we go. There's another hole done there. It hasn't cracked open the uh, the compartment because I don't think the explosives are hard enough or uh, tough enough to uh, crack the uh, effectively a sarcophagus of heavy armor. So don't think the mines are going to really be an issue with that but if you've got heavy armor you're going to be fine but um yeah it looks alright doesn't it uh, so we, the mines are effective I mean if you if we can find a way of deploying them from say a submarine or from another ship instead of having to spawn them individually then this would be great this would be a really good uh, function to have so um yeah be one for uh, something to try out but anyway I'm going to drive on a bit more and swing the tail around and I don't think the rudder will hit that oh look at that, that was a 
That was a near miss and a half, that one. Look at my mind there, so we'll just, re we'll just reverse over that one, just to... Uh, just have a bit of fun. <laughs> and we stopped engines. And the damage is... Well, bare minimal. minimal. Knock the rudder off, which is uh, something I didn't think of. So now we can't manoeuvre. But, um, yeah, the mines are effective. They're not super effective. I mean, I tried ramming them with the Mambo. I mean, my, you've seen my Mambo in the last videos. That thing is designed quite well to sort of absorb mine uh, attacks. Well, not mine attacks, but mine collisions. And um, it, it's, it does quite well uh, sort of absorbing the impact. So um, that's something. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reattach a rudder here somewhere. But I can't because of the way the ship is. Let me stick it there. All right, so we've got a rudder now. Um, so we're right in the middle of the minefield now. Let me just zoom out. You can see we're <laughs> our mines across there, mines down here. Yeah, and the mines are, as you can see, they're listed as uh, friends at the moment. They're really, you know, allies because I haven't uh, given them mainframes or anything. But uh, sole purpose is just a demonstration. But if I can find a way to deploy them. That'd be epic. So we just reverse and try and swing the swing the bow around again. There's definitely enough to cripple a ship. Oh shit! Just hit another one. <laughs> now what did that hit? Uh, no, just that's that's knack in the stern now. So now the ship is very low in the water. Brilliant. Like I said, the ship is still packed with explosives in this area, so I'm gonna have to be a bit, be a bit careful. Oh dear, there's a big hole there. So we've still got engine power, though. That's the main thing. So I'm gonna go turn and try and set off those explosives. But they didn't. That is surprising. But nonetheless, we did blow a hole in the side of the ship. Okay, where's our next mine? Where can we hit another one? Which one's closest? Left or right? Let's go for the one on the right. Uh, the left, sorry. So just driving slowly. Looks like it's got uh, thrusters, uh, side thrusters, but it hasn't. It's just, it's just put the propellers on minimal speed. Actually, there is no mi no, the propellers are not running. That's why I turned them off. No, don't stop. Oh, what's going on? Right, okay. Let's just keep turning and see what happens. I mean, the ship's low enough in the water now to be render it useless. Explosives are very close, so I just back up a little bit. You can see that square there, that is where there's an ammo crate. And it's ooh, just brushed against it. Christ. Okay, so let's just pull out and then swing back in again. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go give it a bit more of a whack, I think. Back up a little bit. And have another go. Come on, you know you want to. Oh. I haven't got enough oomph to make it still or to set it off. Right, so I'll pull it out. And then reverse into it. <laughs> that's me that. so there's another hole in the stern there. Uh, that wasn't quite what I was expecting, but uh, no, never mind. Where's well, the next mine? There's another mine over there. Let's have a go at that one. 
See that square there is where the explosives are stored. If I can get that square right next to that mine, I think this might work. I don't think I've got enough oomph though. For some reason the ship just stopped. No, still not. That's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Alright, let's go forward. And then we go back. That's still the explosives are not working. But anyway, the mines are working. They're just not in the right place. So, um, well, that's sort of a, a demonstration there anyway. But, uh, <laughs> oh well. Um, the ship isn't going to sink because of the uh, the middle section is full of air still, as you can see in here. Full of air, full of air. Um, damaged. But uh, the main four compartments in the middle are still full of air. So the ship's not going to sink. But, uh, we can still have fun destroying things. So we've got a couple of mines. Well, in all directions, basically. I can just aim anywhere. So there's five mines, six mines over there. It's retarded, doesn't it? Drive like <laughs> sailing a ship which is two thirds underwater. But it still works. That's the beauty of light alloy. It does not sink. Well, it will sink if it's heavy enough, but uh, uh, or full of water enough. But uh, usually, it doesn't sink if there's enough of it. And we just turn and aim at those two oh, two uh, mines over there. Try and aim directly between them. And there we go. Let's see what we can achieve. Probably lots of damage. Well, one went off, the other one didn't. That isn't so far. Oh, there we go. So the mines work. I can just swing the tail around, I might be able to get that one as well. Come on, swing it around. And there we go. Alright, there we go. That's uh, that's enough uh, mine damaging for now. Or ship knackering, if you like. Um, so yeah, we've done quite enough, to, uh, quite a lot of damage. There's enough uh, explosives in there to render a ship, well, sunk basically. But because of this ship's material is is basically like alloy, it's not going to sink. Um, well, it will sink, but uh, I don't think the explosives are tough enough uh, or have are powerful enough to crack the uh, the heavy armor. So you see the the hexagon design there. That's basically heavy armor. So I don't think the explosives um, have enough to uh, crack that just yet. But uh, the rest of the ship is deemed sunk, so uh, it's uh, the the mines are a success. It's like I said there at the beginning, you know, it's just something we need to try and find a way to deploy them, or I need to try and find a way to deploy them, rather create mainframes for them and attach them to a ship somehow. I'm not I'm not fully up on the uh, uh, attaching ships to ships sort of thing, so I'm going to try and uh, work that one out. I'm sure it's an easy way of doing it. Just need it explaining to me. Um. But yeah, that's uh, something to be thought about. Anyway, um, enough about that. I may return with another video soon. I know I've just released a video of the Wilhelm Gustloff, but uh, I won't be syncing that just yet. I've got to do the tutorial for it first. So that'll be um, in a couple of weeks' time, perhaps. But we'll see. Anyway, that's Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return with another video. So uh, bye for now.